In the previous task we looked at an additional employee. We analyzed the SS situation in task 1 and now we want to analyze a third option which is to introduce a new till. So let's copy task 2, call it task 3. Um, that's now a new till scenario. So what do we have to consider when we are using a new till? The service rate is going to change back to 30 customers per hour. So that's what we can process with one single till. Also we are going to introduce a second till. What does that mean introducing a second till? That uh, means that our arrival rate is going to change. Why? Because we are introducing a second parallel till with a second queue. So we have got two MM1 systems. This is why the arrival rate uh, drops to 12 customers per hour. Good, everything updates immediately and we see that the waiting time has now reduced to 1.3 minutes. Previously we had um, 2.3 minutes, so uh, another minute which we can shave off. So how does that look from a financial perspective? So let's go through all of the finances. This one has not changed, this cost is still the same. We don't have packer cost anymore, we have got now uh, the new till scenario cost for waiting per week, which is um, well 1.3 times 75 which which means that 1.3 is a really little bit of a rough format 1.33 okay so it's exactly 100 pounds uh, let's give it a different symbol let's call it cost for till waiting so these are now savings our savings two actually so again, we are comparing it with the assist scenario. So in comparison to the assist scenario, we are saving now 500 pounds. Um, for the till employee, so that's a special operator. Um, let me just call it server or operator. And how much do we have to pay this person? Let's see, operating it, operating the new till will cost 200 pounds per week. So we're going to change that to 200 pounds per week, which gives us a saving of 300 pounds. So now we are in the comparison of, uh, uh, now we are in the position of comparing that to the savings, which we have previously done. So previously we had effective savings of 281, and now we have effective savings for new till scenario of 300 pounds, which means, which means 300 pounds. So what what is the difference between those two scenarios? What is the difference between P1? and P2. Um, let me just get the font right as well. What is it? So we need to get the effective savings from task 1, uh, task 2, minus the one from task 3. So our effective savings are eighteen pounds seventy-five. So the difference, the difference between um, additional between additional employee additional employee scenario 
and um, util scenario util scenario this means the new till scenario is 18 pounds 75 cheaper per week per week um, okay so if we disregard the investment of 6000 pounds then um, we should invest into the new till so however 6000 pounds that means this scenario the new till scenario pays off over the over the other scenario or the additional employee scenario the one with the additional sales assistant who packs that will take quite some time so the 6000 pounds divided by 18 pounds 75 and um, this is obviously not a financial value and we don't want to have a negative value here that means it will take 320 weeks until until this scenario actually starts paying off over the additional employee scenario if we say a year has 52 weeks then these are 6.15 years so that puts us into an interesting position should we say go for this uh, scenario with the additional employee yes if we want to have immediate rewards if we have time if we have more than six years time then we should go for this scenario personally I would recommend to go for the additional employee scenario despite knowing that the new till scenario over the long run will actually be more beneficial obviously reason deprecation of money was not uh, integrated then new equipment will become cheaper to buy new tills so um, that's my reasons however strictly speaking if we disregard the investment then we should go for the new tills scenario I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm looking forward to seeing you to the next one.